after determining the length of the sides of the pile cap we'll now proceed with the, the design of the thickness of the pile cap so we will take into consideration the ultimate punching stress and the critical beam shear at ultimate loads so we check for critical beam shear at ultimate loads so we have to take into consideration the critical area for beam shear so if this is our x and y these are the piles so we have nine piles then this is the column and the critical area is this dotted area so this is our critical area for beam shear this distance from here is the value of our D or the effective depth so let's solve for the ultimate reaction per pile so we have the reaction R equals P U over A plus MU times C over I so we assume area of one pile equal to one then we also have I equals A D squared. So by substitution we have I. So the area is the area of this three piles. So we our area is three times one times the distance D is the distance between the piles, which is. 0 0.875 meters so 0 0.875 squared we have the value of i equals and we have to still have to multiply this by 2 because we have at the right side and at the left side so we're considering this and this that is why you have to multiply by 2 therefore i is equal to 3 times 1 times 0.875 squared times 2 equals 4.875 
meters raised to the fourth power. Now, let's substitute. So we have C equals 0 0.875. So now we have R equals PU. So our, the value of PU is 6,332.65 6, divided by area. So 9 times 1. So the area of the 9 piles plus MU. 77.04 times C over I of 4.59 the ultimate reaction per pile is 6332.65 over 9 plus 77.04 times 0.875 over 4.59 so we have 718.31 kilonewton which is less than the allowable actual load per pile that is equal to 843.66 kilonewton as solved Therefore, it is safe or okay. So, our ultimate shear is equal to the reaction times 9, so it's equal to 718.31 multiplied by 9 that is equal to 6,464. 79 kilonewtons now we have our maximum allowable shear stress which is equal to square root of fc prime over 6 equals square root of 35 over 6 and that is equal to 0 0.986 megapascals now using the formula for the critical beam shear stress we have The shear stress is equal to VU over phi BD. By substitution, we have 0 0.986 is equal to VU. A solve is 6,464.79 kilonewton multiplied by 1,000. In order to convert to Newton, 
divided by 0 0.85 your fee B is the length of the side of 2,800 millimeters times D. From there, we can solve D equal to 6 for 6 for 0.79 times 1,000 divided by 0.986 times 0.85 times 2,800 we have D of 2,755 mm so the total depth is equal to Two thousand seven fifty five plus two hundred fifty mm, so that is equal to three thousand five mm. So that is the value of depth for critical beam shear and now we still have to consider the value of D for punching stress whichever has the higher value will be adapted as the depth of the pile cap